Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, you're watching The Leviathan, and welcome to Dragon Dog- uh, Dragon's Dogma, um, Dark Arisen. And we shall start- I am not gonna be doing a full playthrough. Just gonna show off some parts of the game while I play it myself. I'm not sure how much I'll show, but... This is actually fairly early on in the game, it's kind of like- one of the first things you fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm taking damage. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. Let me play. Yeah. Okay, we got this guy. Some weird Cyclops creature. This game is awesome. It's kind of like a, a mix between, like, I don't know, Skyrim and Dark Souls or something like that. But you can also climb creatures, which is awesome. Which is kind of like Shadow of the Colossus, I guess, in that sense. It actually kind of has the same uh, annoying issue with the collision, um, collision defection that Shadow of the Colossus had. Not as bad, but... Okay, we got this. Ooh. Man. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Yeah. Stupid beast. Good thing it's not falling on its back. That's something that, like... Ooh. That, uh, would happen in Dark Souls, like... Oh, uh, what are the creatures that always fall onto their backs when you're behind them, slashing at them? Ooh, ran out of stamina. No, 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 no. Uh, there we go. Okay, a little bit of slicing to the back of the feet. Yeah, we got this. Oh, no, my guy's down. Um, how do I get him up? There we go. Oh, yeah. He's going down. Yes! See, he's like some cyc um, cyclops creature with, like, big horns. So I'm assuming he's just a cyclops, but I've never seen one with tusks before in a game, but cool. <gasps> Who is this? Some evil doer. Let us return to the encampment. Aha. So the quest I'm on is I'm proving myself to these uh, people who are called pawns or something like that, so that I can rule with them or something like that. Okay, we got this. Hello. And I'm playing as the. Uh, um, I think it's a ranger class or something like that. I think they actually might have called it a strider class, which I think is kind of funny because that's the name of uh, Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Aha. Uh -huh. Did I pass? I'm assuming I did. Yes, I am. Okay. That's cool. The funny thing is, the pawn people, they're, like, not actually humans. They're some... They're pretty much humans, but they don't have any ambition or something like that. So, they pretty much just do what anyone tells them to do. That's why they're called pawns. Oh, I get to create my own pawn. Okay. Um, I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, I just created the, uh... My follower. We shall see. We shall see him in all his glory. <laughs> I just made him like the biggest guy you could possibly make. That way I ha since I'm so weak, since I'm a um, strider class, they're never as strong as like the knights or whatever. I made him a knight, so he's going to be really strong. So he'll be the buff dude that does all this work for me. 
Yes, yes, bow, bow before me. Now let's go on an epic quest, shall we? Oh man, I'm so good to, glad this game uh, came out on the computer. Um, I've been waiting for another epic game to play. I mean, I have I've been playing The Witcher, which I love that game, one of the best games ever. But I haven't played like a game more like Skyrim, which just kind of plays a little more like that, where you're a little more free to um, subvert the storyline. Versus The Witcher, where it kind of drives you into the storyline. Which I like. I'm more of a story person myself. But it's fun just to have an epic quest go on. You'll be quite the voice on the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. Do we get a practice now? I can help in that regard, should you wish to. Okay. Sounds good to me. Aha! Time to fight in the arenas. Oh no, it's the bad guy. What are you gonna do? Evil, like, wrinkly-faced person. That's what you know in, uh... <laughs> in these type of games. It's always the old, wrinkly-faced person. That's the evil person. The men of the enlistment corps. Yes, Let let's train. From the outset. I'm a harsh master. Whoever the king. Okay, okay. Well, I'm a quick learner, so... Not really. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. Well, that's good. I mean, it's not so good for my friend, if you but... Find a task too difficult to manage, he's a little... You might reconsider your partner. Okay. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them, if you care to. Okay. The first task is carrying... Hold a lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great for just one person. Okay. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Do you just say we have to, to carry around we'll begin as soon goods as of some sort? Is he just is, is he just using us to do get work done and it's claiming that it's training? It's training. To it. Okay. Well, my person's pretty light. I'm not sure how much that plays into the game, too, because when you're creating your character, you can actually choose... It actually shows the weight of the overall character. So I'm assuming that will definitely change, um, change how you get damaged and are thrown around. Okay. Simple task. Ah, oh, okay. You, you can do that one. Um, I'll do this one. <laughs> yeah, that's the voice I gave the pa. <laughs> He's like the biggest guy ever, and then he has the uh, little squeaky voice. Ah, oh, come on, climb, 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 climb. I didn't realize which ones they were going to. Alright, why can't I pick this up? Why can't I pick it up? Let me pick it up. I want to... Man, I'm not doing anything. I can't pick anything up. Uh, I probably should be using a... Uh, Oh, they're doing all the work for me. Um, probably should be using a gamepad. Probably would go smoother. Could we lose? I didn't see any more boxes. Well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I just sit aside and be like, go do this and that, and that's awesome. Next is combat training. My scarecrow army. Destroy oh, my so scary. So scary. Unless they're actually like creepy living scarecrows. That would be scary. That would be scary. A company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a very approach. Am I supposed to be telling them what to do? I haven't even noticed that. Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Stop talking. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna shoot this with an arrow. I don't see any more. Do we get it? Do we get it? I think we got it. Yes. 
Man, you keep using the same, the same encouragement. It gets a little boring after a while. Only to magic, huh? If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike fast. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out of the recording for a little bit, and then I'll bring back when we're actually doing something awesome. So I'll see you in a little bit. Aha, uh -huh, we have ambushed some goblins. Yeah, we got this. Ah. Where are you goth to? Ah oh, man, there's a lot of them. Yeah, catch on fire. Burn! Yeah. We got this, we got this. I'm gonna grab this guy. And, oh, I, that's weird. Wonder what I can do with them when I pick them up. Yes. Okay. They could be booby trapped. <laughs> he has the weirdest voice ever. I'm so glad I chose that for him. Ah, you stupid shield, man. Ah, no. King of the Goblins! I'll take your crown. Oh, what the? Get up, get up. Yeah, he's on fire. Running around like a little baby. Maybe I should take care of some of his little guys before I go on. Before I go after him. Yeah, thank you, man. I do enjoy Fire's Blades. Okay, we got this. We got this. Right in the back. Right in the back. Yeah, lay down and take it. Lay down and take it, I said. Bum, bum, bum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I should probably uh, tell you a little about my character. Um, so yeah, I chose the uh, Strider um, class, which gives me the awesome bow and then the little knives and stuff. Which is kind of like the class I usually choose. Like, There's usually like a heavy class, a mage class, and then like the in-between like quick fighting. And I usually choose the the quicker less powerful fighter and stuff um also she has awesome scars on her arms both her arms and stuff because i could do so so i did so yep and i don't think there was really anything else of interest that'd be any different than any other character bum, 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 bum. oh yeah and her name's dariel Oh yeah, I got some water. Okay, darn, I was hoping something cool to be in the cave here. Every cave so far has been disappointing. Hmm. Hey y'all! I love the uh, jumping in this game. Like a lot of games where you're third person that are fantasy don't actually have that great of jumping. It's kind of depressing. Are you all right, Whew. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, and the running is pretty cool too. In a third-person game, I feel like the uh, animations used for that stuff is really important. But fantasy games, well, Skyrim didn't spend too much time on it because it's not really a third. I mean, it is a third-person game, but it. I feel like the when they designed it, it wasn't designed to be a third-person game. It was like, oh, you can play third-person if you want, but not really a third-person game. Oh. 
freaking wolf. Okay, maybe I should check my quest and we can do an awesome epic quest. Yeah, hold him down. Uh, oh my goodness, what is that? A dire wolf? I feel like that one... Is it bigger than the other ones? It looks like twice as big as the other ones. Oh man. Help me! Yes. Okay, we got this. Yeah. So, yeah, he is, like, twice as big. Wow, that's a huge wolf. Okay, we got this. Okay, what? Oh, I thought we had them all killed. Okay. Oh, there's still one more. They keep coming out of everywhere. You, like, you think you killed them all off, and then you're like, wait, there's another one? Okay. Ah, oh, man, another one. Cool. Now we'll do... Let's see what quests we have. Quest. Oh, wait, what? There's no quest to choose from. Which means I should head this direction, and we'll head back to the camp and hopefully talk to someone. And see what quests we can get. Excuse me, peoples. Oh man, come on! I don't, I don't want to fight bandits. Bandits are jerks. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay. Oh, what was that? Okay, okay, we got this. Just need to make it back to camp. Okay, I think the camp's down here. I wonder if there's going to be a Steam Workshop for this game. Because I feel like so many games that could use a Steam Workshop. I'm not saying that this game needs a Steam Workshop, but I do like the mods that come out of Steam Workshop. Skyrim had an amazing group of, of, of mods and stuff in the Steam Workshop and stuff. That was awesome. Made the game... Well, it still makes the game, like, playable. Even if you've played it, like, three or four times, you can still go in and, and get new stuff because get all the new stuff from the steam shop oh quest give me a quest okay yes I do The magic of being awesome. Yeah. It, I think it matters. Hey. You don't have a quest for me? Okay, I'm gonna... Maybe that will... Maybe that will give me a uh, quest. Aha! What is going on now? <gasps> Aha! Are we under attack? Could it be a drag? Oh! Oh, this is gonna be nice. Giant snakes! Almost, almost as cool as giant dragons, or dragons, not giant dra dragons, but... Oh! Is this like a three-headed snake? Two-headed snake? Or is it just multiple snakes? It's a three-headed snake! Yes! What could be more epic? 
Yes! Oh, it has so many lives. So many lives. Okay, let's try to climb it. Ugh. Yes! Okay, we're gonna climb up and see what we can do. Yes! I think... I wonder if each life bar represents a head. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, we'll ride it. Oh, man, this is epic. This is awesome! Ah! Of course... I didn't think that I took damage from when it did that, but I do. Okay, climb, climb, climb. I need to get to the top of one of their heads. Ah. Come on. Yes. We got this. We got this. Ooh, did I knock off one of them? Yes! Haha. <laughs> Take that, sucker. Hopefully it doesn't grow another head. Oh, did it? Ah! Yuck. Please tell me it's not a spitting poisonous snake. Oh. It was controlled with magic? Is that what it means? I am impressed. Well, you should be. You should be impressed. Can we eat this? Oh yeah, Hydra, that's what they're called. Ha ha ha. Did she just insult me? I think she just insulted me. I see better now from whence the legends arose. <laughs> Arisen arose. Yes. Impressive, truly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Hydra's head and the Orison who claimed it make up the Deformed's Ample. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your spice. It will be slow going with the cart. I dare say you will have no trouble catching up. We'll meet at the Way Castle. Till then, I bid you rest well. Cool. Yes. Yes, we finally had an epic boss fight. I thought I wasn't going to actually get... I mean, the troll guy was fairly epic, but he didn't die epically. This was actually cool. So, I'm going to actually leave this episode here. I do plan on playing some more. Um, it's going to be kind of like this, where I skip around. I'm not going to just show, like, entire gameplay of the entire game, because that would be long. That's like doing The Witcher or Skyrim or something like that. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please feel free to like or give a comment. And uh, let's do this again sometime soon. Thank you.